Do you want some of the Ripper? Well, if you do, stop on by the DeejCast uh, tomorrow. We're going to be talking with John Bishop, the man who played Ripper. Dem. Where are we going? Dem. 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 North. Welcome to Deegans and Dragons. Therapeutic benefit in role-playing games. Welcome to Deegans and Dragons. Oh, yeah, baby. Your presence quested in exchange for treasures. Dem. Dem. Red Ripper. Are we talking one treasure each? Count that hard. All right, so they were invading the Spanish cart. I say it invade where they were moving in uh, without Spanish attire. You have Alejandro in the uh, cart with the two security, uh, guards. security guards. You have met the Matador on uh, the first door on the right. Um, all right. So, we need to think of a way that we can all move through this train without standing out too much. <laughs> Fine. So... I know just the thing, and then I go put on an Italian suit. <laughs> do we, what, what's the cart after the, um, the Spanish cart? Do we know that? So, it <laughs> is France. France. Okay. Let's um. Let's pop open the uh, the French container and see if there's any um, clothes that would fit us. So again, we go back to the first cart. Yeah, you probably have to roll for a lot. Oh yeah, probably. You, you'll eventually open it. I mean, it's just a matter of time. Yeah. If if, if you're indifferent to how long this takes you, then yeah, yeah. you you can. Open yeah, it. I mean we're. It's, I mean, assuming the train, the train ride that we're currently on is still gonna probably take a while to get to its destination, so we're not, oh, yeah. like, pressed, pressed for time. For time. Yeah. Cool, so then, yeah, let's take a look and... Yeah, you find all sorts of uh, traditionally and modern French fashions, you know, like berets and the st striped clothing. Uh, so I definitely put on a beret and... Over the helmet. Uh, yes, you have sure, to. okay, why not, why not, over the helmet. Okay. Um, oh, I take it on a variety. Nina's just... <laughs> no, I, I think, I think, uh, I think I'm gonna be serious about this. You know, like, I'm gonna actually put on some, like, French clothes. I think this would probably be the best way to get through. Okay. Um, so put on French clothes with the beret and leave my armor behind. Leave your armor, okay. Ripper. Ripper. I'm sticking with the beret. <laughs> you're gonna, okay, so you'll wear the beret. Yeah, I'm gonna put the beret. On. Are you gonna wear like baggy clothes over armor, or are you gonna de armor? Oh wait, is that an option? I'm gonna put. Yeah, I mean, you, I'm gonna put baggy clothes. Over yeah, armor. you could put on like then, large clothes. Then I'll do that. Okay, I'll do that. Because you, you guys are both massive dudes. So. Yeah. All right. So that so the and oh and you do have dash with you. Yes. Um, I'll put a beret on dash. So mm, yes. I with its doggles. <laughs> We oh should, we should, is there a, is there a dog collar anywhere in here? You could fashion one. Okay, so yeah, I think we should fashion a dog collar. I'll, I know he doesn't need one, but I think we should put, put a collar on him. What and about a dog collar for the Ripper? Yeah. No, like, I, I think that's actually a very reasonable thing. Put a dog collar and, and like a leash on him, or some sort of a lead on him. Mm -hmm. So that way, like, you know, it looks like he's legit, like, right. like he's just a you know, pedestrian type dog, not, you know, a lethal attack dog. Right. He's a service dog. Yes, I'm blind. There you go. I actually, so we get sunglasses for for pouch. Yeah, yeah. I put, I put, and he's my he's my service dog. I'm blind. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. That perfect, perfect story, cover story. Okay, so the two of you are in a strange twin brother. <laughs> yeah. Not a strange, just strange. Just strange. <laughs> the two of you are in gargantuan uh, French-style suits with berets, uh, wearing large sunglasses. Dash is the service dog for Pouch, uh, and you are still dressed in Alejandro's uh, bartender attire? So. Okay. Uh, so, the, so the three of you just start strolling into the Spanish train? Mm -hmm. Yep. And I'll kind of like motion them to just further go down the train as I continue to kind of look into the rooms and just make sure everybody's okay. Okay. So on the left is a blonde uh, actress. She's uh, in her early 40s. Uh, Do I recognize her? 
You do recognize her. Okay. Yep. She's uh this is in fact Diaz, a famous actress. Um she is uh, on her way to film her next movie. There's something about Gary. So while he's uh, doing his thing, like checking the rooms, um, I want to kind of like, so the, the computer and then there's also a panel down at the end. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna kind of like nonchalantly check them out just to kind of see if I see anything that like leads me to believe they have control over the cameras. Okay, so approaching the the panel, you see that there's actually like food orders like mm -hmm. populating on the screen. Okay. And there are like a whole bunch of keys and stuff like you you would know how to get to the route. I don't know, tell me the tech. Yeah, well I mean well so I guess that's the thing, is kind of like you I would imagine that a computer or a panel that was like for a food service would have zero access to the cameras. Like that, if it did, like, in, in, if I actually set up like a network that way, I would be very surprised. Um, like to have something like that be able to access the camera. So my guess in that case would be no. But obviously, this is a fantasy world. So I have no idea. I mean, network minimum, it connects to all the rooms. Yep. Because they give you the food orders. That all right. Way. I mean, you probably you could probably figure a way to hack it too. Yes. But um, what about the computer? You, you say it's a computer too? So, no, this is it. Oh, oh okay. Um, it, does it look like the camera is like looking at the panel? Like, is the camera able to see? Do, does it look like I'd be on camera if I was messing with the panel? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so I just kind of look, I, I take note, I take note, but I keep, I keep in character of being the blind big dude with the dog. Um, so yeah, after approaching the uh, the actress's um, chambers, um, just the the same, just kind of you know, hello, you know, I'm Alejandro's on break right now. I just want to make sure you're okay. Is there anything I can get you? Oh, I'm all set. Um, I guess come back in a, a little bit. I'll definitely want a drink soon. Oh, of, of course, of course. Do Do you mind if I uh, close the door? Oh yeah, that's fine. I mean, I don't. I don't really want people looking in here anyway. That's, I'm, I'm looking out for you because I, I'm a big fan. I just don't want anybody to bother you. That's all. I want you to get in character for your next big role. I'm very excited. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> there is something about character, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, then I'll just slowly close the door and move on to the next room. All right. So the next room is, uh, you see that there is a rather large man. Um, you actually, it would be, I think, you of the group. So, this is a former hockey player. Um, named, it's a day no no. named Emilio. Emilio! 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 Uh, he was known as El Poderoso Pato Real, which is the mighty mallard. Uh, yes. And, uh, he. He's lost, he's lost his speed, but not his girth. He's still very clearly a, a beefy hockey player. Yep, and same rigmarole, just, you know, Alejandro's on break, can I get you anything? Yeah, uh, whip me up something good. You got it, I'll be right back with that. Cool. <laughs> uh, so they're actually on board for, for food in this cart. Uh, there is paella, gazpacho, empanadas, marzipan, and the drink of choice is sangria. Oh, I'm not gonna actually serve him. Okay. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's like, I am, I am a soldier. I am above this. Yeah. <laughs> We're just using this cover to shut exactly. the doors. Uh, so because the... Because there are cameras. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, Not yeah, that so you don't <laughs> already look suspicious enough. <laughs> the two of you just stroll down the center of the cart <laughs> and then just stand there, like, <laughs> in front of the, well, no, the bar. It's like waiting for the bartender yeah, to come yeah. back. Yeah. Um, yeah, like probably like sitting at the bar, or yeah, if, if there are stools at the bar, I presume there probably are. Yeah. If there's a stage, there's probably an area or something to sit. Rip, Ripa goes on stage and starts doing a dance. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> 
Uh, you go to the next card on the right. Uh, you recognize the famous singer uh, Enrique, best known for Bilo or I Dance. Um, he's uh, you know like uh, fairly light skinned, has you know uh, moosed hair. You know going to the right, the beauty mark, uh, five o'clock shadow. Um, and he is I can be your hero, baby. <laughs> so this his song is I am your hero, baby. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so and he actually has uh, two large men inside his room already. Oh, I'll just leave you to it and close the door. So he just he he doesn't even acknowledge you. Mm-hmm. Uh, so then two rooms are empty. Um, I have to just pass over those. Or does are they just empty, or they look like they are occupied, just their occupants aren't here? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so then, beyond those two, um, you see a uh, large man is mid fifties. He's he's shorter, um, rather rotund. Um, he has a large revolver just like blatantly like sitting in his side and he's wasted. And he just has like wine bottles, like empty wine bottles. And he's in one I get him another mm-hmm. wine bottle. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the like the highest test wine that that they have, like the top shelf highest test wine. That okay, yeah, and, that, and that's what he has. Yeah, okay. that's what he has in his room too. Just knock him out if I can. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so you just give him oh, another one. here's a couple of... Uh, Sedatives. Yeah, I'll pop it in the, uh, the... I'll just knock out everybody with sedatives. <laughs> Why didn't we take it out? I don't know. Why didn't we take it out? <laughs> so yeah, maybe I will come back with a drink to that other dude. <laughs> <laughs> and um, a pitcher of water for the actress. Um, yeah. And you know, the actress said she, uh, she'd want something later. But that's okay. You can still like you know. I, I since I'm such a big fan, I just mm. want to make sure you're taking. Oh, here's a glass of water. You know. Yeah. Easy enough. Yeah. So, okay. So yeah, that's that's what we do. We just get a tray of drinks and we drug it. Yeah. And we drug the car. Yeah. That's that's even easier <laughs> than the way we're doing this. Cool. Okay. Uh, Why are we doing this? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> We're taking um, out everybody we encounter. <laughs> that wasn't the mission. <laughs> We're getting off mission. You know, that's is that, that's the last dude. What's is that? that the, the drunk guy is the last guy in this car? No, there's several more. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Who's the last one? Uh, so there's... Uh, so you recognize one of the... Since you're agents, you recognize politicians. One of the... Uh, Members of the the Council of Ministers for Spain, Jose Dominguez. Um, he's rather thin, has a raggedy goatee. Um, you see a, a Spanish ambassador, um, Mercedes, and she is uh, she's rehearsing um, in Chinese um, when uh, you first walk in there. Then. Beyond that, there is a uh, another a short woman with brown curly hair in her 40s. Uh, she has uh, very low um, half moon glasses, and she's sitting there on her laptop as you approach. Um, then there is somebody in full flamenco dress um, who is leaving the cart as you start to walk in. So, are these, are, 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 now that we're like disguised, is anybody paying us any mind right now? Or are they just kind of looking the other way as, or are we bringing any Are we like attention? making attention to ourselves, yeah. Uh, so. <laughs> um, so, yeah, asking nope. if the two behemoths are uh, So the two of you were just sitting at the bar with, with, uh, with Dash, yeah. and, and nobody has come to say anything to either of you yet. Um, and the last person on the on the left um, is a uh, football player for uh, Real Madrid, Valerio. Um, so he's in he's like a current 
like striker for them and is in great shape. His uh, tattoos all over, close uh, shaved hair. So that's that's everybody on this card. Okay. And nobody has left their their cards yet except for the flamenco dancer was exiting um, as you were going by. Okay. Yeah, should we just continue through and look and see what's in the other carts? May as well. Yeah. Because I don't feel like there's any real threat here. At least nothing that has been here. So. Right. So yeah, like you should go th- like you should go through. Yeah. So I'll uh, yeah I'll go through. It's now. Does every car have the um, the FIRD tag, or is, was it just the um, cargo carts? Just the cargo. Okay, so we can we can now pass freely through these carts without having to worry about ID. No, there's different ID. Uh, so I can't leave this cart without another ID. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely get that wine bottle then, and uh, see if. But the drunkard has an ID. I can. Oh, does Aliandro have an ID? Did Aliandro have an ID? Uh, yes. Okay, I'll use Aliandro's ID then. Um, yeah, I guess I will hop over there and kind of just since these guys are in French attire, wave them through since this is where they belong. Ah, uh, merci, merci. And <laughs> bonjour. Uh, hold on. Um, bonjour. Brave. Bonjour, ça va, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you, you go into the escargot. the French cart. Mm-hmm. We, we escargot. We yeah, escargot. <laughs> so the rooms are set um, five and five. There is a very obvious smoking lounge uh, with smoke billowing out of it. Uh, there is an old valet, Pierre, uh, who is already walking about the cart uh, with a tray, um, who has on it, he has a nice champagne glass and some foie gras. Um, And there's also a patisserie station, um, should any of the guests wish to partake in some nice fresh pastries. So, so you sw- swipe the card, let the two of you in, mm-hmm. and Pierre is immediately. Oh. Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, bonjour. Ça va? Uh, what if we want? How do you say what's your name in French? <laughs> uh, uh, who, who are you? Who are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> who are you in French? Parlez vous français? Tu es qui toi? Qui, qui tu es? Bad grammar alert. Oh. <laughs> qui tu es? Yeah, c'est qui toi? C'est qui toi? And the two of you who don't speak French. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, just, we have already identified. Yeah, but well, you're in French clothing. I point. I point at the glasses and the dog. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just hear more French, which. In reality, is uh, are you deaf? <laughs> um, <laughs> like, are you mute sure because you're blind? <laughs> you just I charge him. <laughs> oh no! I'm not gonna do that. See, I was just playing stupid. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna. Do <laughs> okay, so okay, let, let's you know let's hijack the train. You yeah. know the terrorists can't do it if we do it first. <laughs> well, we're doing it for freedom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so this old. Old man um, is uh, asking you all these questions in in French, which you have no idea what to or how to respond, aside from pointing to the dog. Yeah, so sure. I point I point to the dog, and I try to like give you a signal to try and make some sign language up. Um, He just keeps he just keeps nodding, waiting for more. And then, like, it, but it, like I'm talking, like make it look like you're obviously trying to. Yeah, like, what I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to like communicate like that. We're just taking a walk through the train, but you know. Uh, where is your room? 
I point at the dog. <laughs> <laughs> the, the two of you are, are not uh, passengers on the French cart. Ripper! <laughs> um, <laughs> you just berserk. <laughs> Bite his throat. <laughs> Unfortunately, this was. No, wait, never mind. So, at this point, um, I'm gonna look around my area. Is there any, like, just empty room? Like, is there yeah, any good empty room? Uh, like, so it's like any unoccupied. Well, Pierre room. stopped us like as we are entering, so we haven't. Been oh, we haven't actually gone that far. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, is there anyone else in the center? Uh, yeah. Darn it. Damn. <laughs> yeah. There is um, Cedric, a French chef of world renown. So all of you actually recognize. He's uh has um a show uh, Steel Chef. Um, he's, just, he's known for being very aggressive, but, but nice to children. Um, uh, and he actually is, is actively carrying uh, a knife and a blowtorch. Um, he, he was walking towards the patisserie station, but now with Pierre questioning these two giants who just entered and saying, you don't have a room here, he just turns and looks to kind of observe what's going to happen yeah. next. Um, we just got ourselves in a precarious situation. Does, he, does, he did. does um, I'm gonna ask if he knows like English. Oh, You're Pierre? Yeah. Yeah, so he says, so he's saying to you in English, you don't have rooms here oh, okay. in this uh, cart. So, yeah, I'm just gonna explain. Uh, yeah, we got a little lost. Where I was showing him around, taking a walk to get his ex the dog's exercise in, and um, we were wondering if you could point us back to the what's the next car? So back, so back into the Spanish car. No, the next no, one. The, next no, the, next the one. one beyond. Yeah. Um, so, oh, I did not notice you pass by earlier. Otherwise, I would have stopped you. Yeah. We're, we're, you were busy. Despite yeah. their size, they're quite stealthy. <laughs> well, so the next cart is Italy. So, um, yeah, we're walking through, and then I'm gonna say, wait, um, out of game, we have like the ID cards from the security, right? Right. Yeah, but yeah. it seems like it's a different card for every oh, right. door. Yeah, yeah so we need Pierre's card. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Poor Pierre. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just explaining that we're taking a walk, and we're uh, we're, we're heading back to that car up ahead. Oh, very well. Looks like I'm escort you back to the uh, Italian cart. <laughs> I pretend I don't know what's going on because I can't hear or talk. <laughs> yeah. So, so like, so I'm kind of like as you as you guys have berets on, <laughs> right? Clearly French passions. Yeah, he's, he's like, like, what is happening? Yeah, he's like, is these are crazy people? <laughs> then, uh, get them out of the car. This yeah. one is fun to do. <laughs> yes. we're, we're really Italian, but we just love the French culture. <laughs> so, um, okay, so he he leads you to the next car. It swipes swipes in and basically like pushes you out and closes the door behind. <laughs> I actually say out loud, how rude. <laughs> I, I grab him and yell at him to you. Rip on! <laughs> I don't, I don't so he turns back and looks at you, uh, and it's like, oh, I trust you'll be returning to the Spanish cart. Au revoir. Messy. So now you're divided. Um, so you enter the Italian cart. The rooms are set eight and two. Uh, there is a large room on the left side. Um, marked for wine tasting um, and on the right is an open glass showroom that has a new car designed by where you're in a you speak Italian I'm just gonna say you're a fan of this work and you're an engineer it makes total sense actually. oh yeah actually makes total so, sense. so uh, there's a new car there designed by the legendary Mario um, it is a uh, extremely uh, efficient um, and there's a, there's... Is it runoff fungus? <laughs> yes. Um, and there's a, there's a, there's like an old grandmother uh, type woman who's uh, walking 
through the cart in the uh, the same sort of bartender attire. I take off the sunglasses so I don't have to keep up the whole blind thing anymore. Um, and I'm also going to take the beret off, kind of just shove it in my pocket. Um, just yeah, I'm to gonna, I'm also going to take it off. Kind of blend, try and blend in a bit more, even with the rest of the ridiculous things we're wearing. Um, then, um, so I'm going to just kind of keep walking and see if the old lady says anything. Uh, so she greets you um, in, in Italian. And I greet her back in Italian. <clears throat> um, and then she's uh, she s- starts saying to you, "Oh, um, were you a were you security for?" Yes. Yes. Yeah, so she <laughs> she she comes off as like a she's first of all she's much less aggressive than Pierre. Um, she seems much more trusting. <laughs> yes, for sure. Um, and, uh, and where she actually, she saw you eyeing the car. So she actually asked if you are security for, uh, for Mario. Um, yes, actually we are. Um, we, you know, we're security. I'm nodding. Um, <laughs> and I, I, I tell her, yes, we are. We're, we're actually just, just to make sure the car, the, the whole, the train is secure for our client. Um, we were just, we're checking the cars to make sure there aren't any, you know, we, we've heard all these threats about serial. Yeah, so we're, we're making sure that- Do we want to name drop a terrorist organization on a moving train yeah, she, to ensue panic? She's like, she's like, big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was Golden Graham all along. <laughs> Golden Graham. I thought that was the blonde. Um, but this one's actually old. <laughs> Olden Graham. Oh, <laughs> Olden Graham. I'm a grandmother. <laughs> so no, like so I you know, so basically the way I word it is more like, you know, we've heard of a lot of different you know, like just all these things in the news lately and I just list off a whole bunch of bad things including cereal. So it's kind of blended in there, you know, and uh um you know, just we just we gotta make sure for our client that's what we get paid for. We we're just doing our job. Just doing her job. So, uh, and I haven't named her. This is, in fact, Mamma Mia. Um, she, so she looks at the two of you. like, oh, yeah, you, you look like good Italian boys. Like though that you, you eat plenty. <laughs> you know, that, be of this size. Like, can I get you some meatballs? <laughs> it sounds like an Italian, like yeah. mother. Yep. Hi, mom. <laughs> um, it's, uh, yeah, it's not Mamma Mia. It's Judy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, mom. Um, yeah, no, I, I, yeah, meatballs sound great. So yeah, so she just immediately walks away. Um. So, um, <laughs> as, like the second she walks away, like drop out of ca- like drop out of character, um, and then immediately kind of just start scoping around. Um, so, you said there's eight rooms on the right side, and then two on the left, one of which has the car in it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so kind of just like I want to. I'm assuming the uh, Mamma Mia is going down towards the other end of the car. Yeah. So kind of to follow her, since she's getting me meatballs after, or us meatballs after all, um, following her, and I'm kind of just like looking into each of the eight rooms as we walk by, um, just to kind of see if, you know, who's who's in what room, uh, or if you know, there's anybody I know, or just kind of, you know, keep track of what, what we're dealing with in this car. Okay, so... So looking by, you see somebody who is dressed in like a lab coat um, and is is sitting there just reading, like very obviously reading in Italian, uh, just medical books. Um, so you see like, okay, it's, doesn't doesn't even look up to, yep. to see you. Um, hey, yeah, just like somebody's walking past, yep. Yep, uh, you see that there's uh, one of the ministers, uh, Cynthia, um, and so you recognize her, she's in, in favor of like the corporations and going to, um, garner support from, from China, uh, okay. to open up larger trade. Um, so she's short as like a power suit and like a short haircut. Um, then you, you see that there's a, a young man, um, in just like a white button down, like kind of kind of nerdy looking, um, like tight uh, dress pants, um, who's sitting there with a, a pencil, just like sketching stuff. Um, 
you see that there's this wild looking uh, man. The, this door is closed. Uh, and there's a dude with just like, like horseshoe haircut, but the hair is like all over the place. Um, and he's like covered in like soot. Um, and there's just all sorts of like weird, like gadgets and thingamabobs all over the room. So I'm thinking Doc Brown. Yes. To generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity. 1.21 oh, gigawatts! 1.21 gigawatts! Great Scott! Okay. Um, then you see uh, the the famous tailor Giovanni um, owns like the major fashion company Giovanni, um, and he's dressed in like this outrageously nice blazer that obviously he made for himself, um, and he like looks like James Bond, um, except Italian. Um, then you see the. Uh, mechanic Mario, um, who is, uh, he's, uh, short, um, a uh, little round, has a mustache, um, he's holding a wrench, and you see next to him his brother Luigi, um, he's, he's like a taller version of Mario, um, and dressed in, like, similar clothing, just, like, different color, <laughs> um, and as you walk by their room, you see, like, Mario, like, turn and look at you, and he gives you, like, an uncomfortable, like, glare. Uh, and he, like, continues to watch you, like, as you continue down the cart. Uh, you do see um, uh, a woman, like, an older woman, um, actually, your favorite book series, um, Name of Drones. <laughs> um, it's a, a world of all AI creatures calculating millions of possibilities constantly to determine ways of exuding dominance. Um, so it's like this very nuanced battle for a throne where like nothing actually happens because it's just constant calculations about like the next possibility. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, That's great. Uh, then you see uh, somebody who is uh, has like headphones on, um, a, a woman in her fifties with uh, like shoulder length, dark hair, um, and kind of just like composing or uh, moving her hand about like to you assume music to herself, and you see a uh, a woman who uh, Elenia. Um, she owns uh, one of the Italian football teams, um, and we'll say that it's your favorite one as well, so you recognize her. Um, and she, uh, she got the funds to buy this team initially from, uh, she started off as an actress, and her father is a big time producer, um, who made the movie, uh, My Friend Vinny. Um, and <laughs> that, uh, yeah, that's, that's, uh, everybody on the, the car. Okay, cool. So, um, so yeah, take note of all that. Then, um, so yeah, I follow Mamma Mia to get my meatballs. Um, and I, even though that Mario like was glare, is he still glaring at me or is he? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, you can see like he's, so he's like next to the car. And he's just like standing there staring, staring you down. What do you want? And and like Luigi's sitting there like looking nervous, like like he's, he's like he's like he's basically staring daggers through me. Yeah. Okay. Um so I'm gonna I'm gonna turn around, I'm gonna look right at him. I'm gonna eat a meatball. Just wait. <laughs> awesome. Just wait. Just gonna go. Just be as, as like nonchalant as possible about it. Gonna chew loudly. Yeah, so she sits there, it's like all like homemade like like pasta and meatballs and, and they're like gargantuan meatballs. Like, the way you know, the meatballs, so meatballs should be. Yeah, the way yeah, yeah. You know, like the way Mama Mia would make them. Um and uh she she invites you to go into the the wine tasting room next. Like got a got a pair of the oh, these yeah. meatballs with you know the finest wines of, of Italy. Absolutely. Um 
Thank you very much, Mama Mia. Yeah, so she just assumes that like you also just understand everything because oh, yeah. he's speaking. Since yeah. you look so alike and he's speaking fluent Italian. Um, so it's, so you're just following his lead. Yeah, I'm yeah. just like... <laughs> yeah. uh, so there are just like gigantic casks uh, of wine um, available. Um, yeah, so she... Pours a glass. Pours, yeah. pours a yeah. glass. And uh, take it from her. And, uh, mm, oh, perfect pairing with these meatballs. Yeah, I just go. Yeah, she, and she's so pleased. Did you make these meatballs yourself? She, oh, oh yeah, she did. Oh, God, you got to write the recipe down. So <laughs> you know that she's going to. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Um, so, um, I ask, you know, she's like a Rolodex of cards pre-prepared for instances just like this. <laughs> yeah. um, so, you know, being Mario's security, we, we do need to make sure that we're able to freely move between the carts. Um, you wouldn't happen to have a spare badge to get into either the cart before or behind us, would you? Well, I mean, you can, I can just let you use my badge to go each way. Yeah, yeah I mean, we'll bring it back to you, like, maybe within a half an hour or so. <sighs> Such good boys. Oh, hey, you know, we, we appreciate it. Thank, <laughs> you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, and uh, I, I take another bite of meatball and I just look so like over the top, like, oh. There's just like sauce all over your face. Yeah, oh. yeah, like I'm, I'm, I'm overly enjoying, overly enjoying these meatballs. Yeah, like too much. Um, yeah, like just passed over. But like, but like, but to the point where she's just like eating up. Like she's just, oh, so, yeah. such oh, a yeah. good boy. She loves it. Um, so I you know, kind of wipe the beard down as I do in my everyday life. And um, it is a real problem. Um, yeah, so we go, uh, we go back. I'm, I'm gonna go back to the, uh, was the Spanish card where he's still at? So he's... I'm, I am two carts away from you right now. So we have the, the French card in between us at the moment with right. Pierre. Oh, right, because Pierre brought you back. Yes. To, okay. Um, so, yeah, then... I think it's something to do, I just haven't thought of anything good yet. <laughs> Why? Because Mario's clearly a member of Serial. <laughs> <laughs> um, we should go to Mario. So, alright, then... Why else was he staring at us like that? <laughs> Well, we're not here to take out cereal. We're here to gather intel and secure he's, VIPs. He's clearly Captain Crunch. <laughs> I'm um, going in. Are you gonna go in? I'm going in. All right. <laughs> so, so you just like open the the glass door and you like step in and you close it behind you. <laughs> I'm gonna continue to talk with Mama Mia. And your just keep her distracted. Yeah. <laughs> so you're just like. How do you want to do this? <laughs> so I'm just gonna. <laughs> like, Luigi looks so nervous that you have now stepped in and closed oh the door. <laughs> so Luigi looks nervous, but Mario is like just angry. Of course, Luigi looks nervous. Yeah, and, yeah, and Mar Mario looks like ready to throw down. <laughs> so, uh, Pigeon needs security. I can take care of that myself. You should have a bit. <laughs> Might. Yeah, so... Um, so then you, you, like... Mario just, like, pulls out, like, one of, like, the... Like, screw guns for, like, the car. It's like... Tss, tss, tss. Hey, buddy. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Why are you looking at us? Pick me. Well... <laughs> I don't think you will belong here. Of course we do. Australian <laughs> accent. <laughs> we got our days. <laughs> oh yeah, my god. My days. <laughs> it's so good. So he says something to you in Italian. Bobbly boobly. Bobbly boobly. Yeah! <laughs> Rippa! So, Alright, so roll initiative. God, I feel like this game is going off the rails. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> uh, plus, oh 
just roll negative. 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 Should I end up rolling too? So you're in the wine tasting room, and then there's the hallway, and then there's you could so you I guess yeah you could see it's just like all glass. Yeah. So you would know that <laughs> like something's going down. Ripa is about to just fight. Do you, Especially do you say anything you... over the comms, by the way, because because right now Nina's just like in the back trawl like the the, so, the cargo plan, just like trying to think of a plan right now. Like um, listening to all of your guys' yeah. nonsense. So how you want to do this? <laughs> I mean, if it's, it's open, if it's open comm and Nina hears that, she's going, she's going is to. It, uh, well, yeah, is it open comms? You guys have comms. Right, but is it open comms? I will comms? like allow you to retroactively activate them if you would like. Okay, so then let's do that. Let's okay. work yeah. it. Or at yeah. least if his aren't active, Pouch yeah. will at least be like, hey, Valkyrie. <laughs> Rip <Ripper>. out. Oh, <laughs> and Nina's just like, well, wait, no, whatever the Austrian word. Shut up. Oh. Just get sense of that too. Bro! <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> See, you just break the comp, like rip it out of here and like grind it up. So, so yeah, no, like, like I, I do. I, I relay the information back to Valkyrie, um, but I do it in a way that does not uh, uh, draw Mamma Mia's attention. And whether I like walk away for a second or say, hey, you just say, you just say like a code word. Yeah. Yeah. It's torn. <laughs> Rip, rip has gone rogue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rip, rip a hole. Rip a hole. Rip a hole. Um, and yes, yeah, so let me, let me roll. Um, so that is, for initiative it was, we don't add anything, right? Right. Uh, so it's a so negative two. I have yeah, I'm at negative one. two. Okay, so Mario and Luigi will act first. So Mario is going to um, <laughs> slide over the car with the, the drill gun and attempt to stab you with it. Oh, so in the, they're in the room with the car? Yeah. Oh, okay, I thought they were in like a different room. All right. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, so how will you react to this? This is now close quarter combat where it's your specialty. It's my specialty. It's ripper time. Yeah, it's ripper time. So. <laughs> I'm just gonna run it. <laughs> so he's so he's sliding across and he's like coming coming yeah. at you like this. Um. Yeah. So I'm just gonna kind of like jump over. So you you will jump over him, jumping over the car. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, I can't just. Do that. I'm just gonna Whoa. duck. Oh, so I'll duck. Okay. Yeah. And then then what? I mean, I had a negative two, so. Well, no, it's, it's our. Well, what, what are you doing? Are you dodging? His yeah, attack? I'm gonna dodge and then just, uh, and then, you know, try and get the drill out. I'm trying to figure out why he was staring at us, so. Well, I think he wants to kill us. <laughs> I get that impression anyway. Yeah. Well, at least you. <laughs> <laughs> so, melee combat specifically. Um, you have these opportunities to kind of like, there's like a back and forth, but still though, like how, how would you respond to this? You would just duck and then yeah, I'm gonna make your counter attack. Yeah, I'm going to do a counter attack. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So then, uh, roll, roll a dodge. What was it? Fitness for dodge? Yeah, probably fitness or mobility. Um, yeah, now you're in a train fighting on a car. Oh, so it's, <laughs> it's tabula. It's tabula. <laughs> neutral, 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 plus one. Wait, no, hold on. But it's tabula. So it's plus three. And close quarter combat. <laughs> plus four. Tabula. All right, so, you, so you'll so you dodge and you'll be in a position now yeah. where you, how are you going to attack him? So he's flying over me, right? So, oh, so you want him to straight up just like, he goes to slide across the car and you yeah, do like a close I'm duck. Down. And then I'm gonna like bicycle kick over here. <laughs> okay. This is so great. <laughs> so, so you awesome. duck, he goes flying over you. Then with your behemoth sides, <laughs> you just like go flying overhead and go to kick him in the back of the head. Super hard. All right, roll. 
<laughs> You're just like watching through like the window of the wine. Oh yes. Eating yes. meatballs. So, so one, one two, two, three. Minus one. Minus two. Oh, excuse me, so it's two. So uh close quarter combat. So that's three. And then uh two me left. Yeah. So it's also two, that's five. Alright. So so you smash him in the back of the head. And he goes flying forward and hits his face against this the, the glass. Yeah. Very resistant. So it doesn't fracture whatsoever. That's what Elon must have thought too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So he, so he smashes into it. There's like blood, like this is like all over the glass, and he just goes, and he just drops to the ground. Luckily, the blood blood matches his outfit, so we're oh, fine. Yeah. I just turn to everyone in the car, go, "Who wants some of the Ripper?" <laughs> <laughs> just drive the car into the rest of the train. <laughs> you just get in the car, smash through the glass. I mean, that's what I was thinking the second you said there's a car in here. He just goes careening off the side and just drives off. You just hear through the, the, the comms, Covert Ops. <laughs> uh, <rip> off. <laughs> All right, so, so you see, so Mario just gets smashed in the face, blood explodes from his forehead. He goes down. Luigi is now, you, so you bicycle kick him, and then from the ground, you just turn over and look at Luigi. <laughs> you want some of the get that? <laughs> Luigi is just like, I, <laughs> I want to know the people. <laughs> uh, so the, the impact of, his, of Mario's head against the glass is very loud. Uh, so you just like set up the car alarm. doors. <laughs> it doesn't have a car alarm. Okay, good. Um, so doors just start sliding open to see what the noise was. Um, Point and crib. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Had backfire in here. <laughs> yeah. So like no, at that point, then I'll stick my head out in the hallway and be like, and and I'll say something. So, don't worry, he's security. He's take care of it. Everybody go back into your rooms. Go back into your rooms. We'll, we're taking care of this. Um, and, I, and while I say that, I'm, I'll, uh, I'll hold my, I'll hold my M3 pump shotgun in my hand. So that way people think I am security, like undercover or something. All right, so. This one whips out a 12 gauge. Can I move to interrogate Louise? <laughs> All right, so hold on. Um, so. Uh, I'm trying to just keep the peace out here, like... Yeah, so most most of the people, like, immediately retreat back to their rooms and close the doors. Who doesn't? Uh, so the minister um, is demanding to know, like, what's going on. Yeah, what's her name, Cynthia? Mm -hmm. Mr. Cynthia, th this, is, uh, this is the utmost security. Get in your room. I will explain everything later. Get in your room now. All right, so she listens. Um... So all the doors are closed. Um, Mamma Mia just like ducks down behind you. Mamma Mia, I will, don't worry, I will protect you. I need that recipe. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> so she's like freaking out because like, you said that like she, you were security for Mario who is now like incapacitated. <laughs> um, <My> security. <laughs> so, he's, he was a threat to himself. <laughs> Next time on Deejas and Dragons. Okay. You'll tell me what I want to know. And I point the gun at Luigi. Or I'll kill your brother. He's weak, but I'm a feeling generous. I shoot Luigi in the leg. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have a leg anymore. Well, me too. So we, so we need our, t our tubular assault man yeah. to, to take the car. Oh, to just like, yeah, yeah, obviously. Activate the boost. Ripper!